Alright, yeah, you got it. Let's see what's playing at the movie theaters this week. I'm gonna tell you, here's that. New movies that are opening this week. In the week of September 23rd. First off, we have A Magnificent Seven. Rated PG-13 for 132 minutes. With Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, and Vincent Dea Onofrio. Seven gunmen in the Old West gradually come together to help a poor village against savage thieves. Next, we have Stork. Rated PG for 89 minutes. Nicholas, excuse me, with Andy Samberg, Katie Crown, Kelsey Grammer, and Jennifer Aniston. This is an animation adventure movie. Storks have moved on from delivering babies to packages, but when an order for a baby appears, the best delivery stork must scramble to fix the error by delivering the baby. Next, we have Queen of Katwa. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Is it Katwa? Queen, Queen of Katwa. Rated PG for 124 minutes. It's a biography starring Medina Nawanga, David Oyelowo, Oyelowo, Lupita Yango, and Martin Cabal. A Uganda girl sees her world rapidly change after being introduced to the game of chess. Oh, that sounds like a nice movie. Hmm. Next we have The Dress Maid Maker, rated R for 118 minutes, starring Kate Winslet, Judy Davis, Naim Hemsworth, and Hugo Weaving. A glamorous woman returns to her small town in rural Australia with her sewing machine and hot culture style, she transforms the women and exacts sweet revenge on those who did her wrong. Oh, that sounds like a good movie, too. And next we have Goat, rated R for 96 minutes, starring Ben Schnitzer, Nick Jones, Gus Harper. Excuse me, Nick Jonas. I apologize, that was Nick Jonas. Gus Halper and Danny Flaherty. Reeling from a terrifying assault, a 19-year-old boy enrolls into college with his brother and pledges the same fraternity. What happens there in the name of brotherhood tests the boy and his loyalty to his brother in brutal ways. Mm. Ah, terrible. Next, The Lovers and the Desperate. For 98 minutes, starring Paul Courtney High or Hugh. It's a documentary thriller. After the collapse of their glamorous romance, a famous director and actress are kidnapped by movie obsessed dictator Kim Jong il. Forced to make films in the world's weirdest state, they get a second chance at love, but only one chance at escape. Next, My Blind Brother, rated R for 85 minutes at a comedy. The rivalry between two brothers reaches a fever pitch during a charity swim competition. Starring Adam Scott, Nick Cole, Marianne Miguel, and Greg Violent. Next, oh, here are the top ten movies in theaters now. Number one is Sully, rated PG-13 for 96 minutes, starring Tom Hanks. The story of Chesley Sullenberger, who became a hero after gliding his plane along the water in the Hudson River, saving all of the airplane flights, 155 crew and passengers. Second this week is Blair Witch, rated R, for 89 minutes. After discovering a video showing what he believes to be his vanished sister Heather, James and a group of friends 
head to the forest believed to be inhabited by the Blair Witch, starring James L. Allen McCune. Next, third, we have Bridget Jones' Baby, rated R for 123 minutes with Renee Selwicker. Bridget's focus on single life in her career is interrupted when she finds herself pregnant. But with one hitch, she can only be 50% sure of the identity of the baby's father. Next, we have Snowden, rated R, for 134 minutes, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. The NSA's illegal surveillance techniques are leaked to the public by one of the agency's employees, Edward Snowden, in the form of thousands of classified documents distributed to the press. Next we have Don't Breathe, Oh My Goodness, Crime Thriller, Horror Movie, Made it R for 88 Minutes, starring Stephen Lang. Hoping to walk away with a massive fortune, a trio of thieves break into the house of a blind man who isn't as helpless as he seems. Next we have When the Bell Breaks, Excuse me. Rated PG-13 for 107 minutes with Morris Chestnut. A surrogate mom for a couple becomes dangerously obsessed with the soon-to-be father. Next, we have Suicide Squad. Rated PG-13 for 123 minutes with Will Smith. A secret government agency recruits some of the most dangerous incarcerated criminals to form a defensive task force with their first case leading to a potential apocalypse. Next, we have The Wildlife, rated PG for 91 minutes. It's an animation adventure movie with Matthias Schwell, Schweighefer. Sorry. A daring parrot recount, recounts how Robinson Crusoe came to be stranded on a tropical island. Next, we have Kubo and the Two Strings, rated PG for 101 minutes, and an animation adventure family film with Charlize Theron. A young boy named Kubo must locate a magical suit of armor worn by his late father in order to defeat a vengeful spirit. And last, Pete's Dragon, rated PG for 103 minutes, with Bryce Dallas Howard and Robert Redford. The adventure of an orphan boy named Pete and his best friend Elliot, who just so happens to be a dragon. And next, let's see what's coming. You want to see what's coming next week? Uh, coming soon. Coming soon, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I had PG-13 for 127 mil minutes, starring Ava Green and Asa Butterfield, Samuel L. Jackson, and Judy Dench. When Jacob discovers clue to a mystery that spans different worlds and times, he finds Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Wow. The mystery and danger deepens as he gets to know the residents and learns about their special powers. Oh my goodness. Next, Deepwater Horizon, rated PG-13 for 107 minutes, with Mark Wahlberg, Kurt Russell, Douglas M. Griffin, and James DeMond. A story set on the offshore drilling rig, Deepwater Horizon, which exploded during April 2010, created... The worst oil spill in U.S. history. Oh my goodness. Next, we have Masterminds, rated PG 13, for 94 minutes, with Jason Sudeckis, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKenna, and o Owen Wilson. A night guard at an armored car factory in so southern U.S. organizes one of the biggest bank heists in American history. Next, we have American Honey. 
And there you are for 163 minutes. A teenage girl with nothing to lose joins a traveling magazine sales crew and gets caught up in a whirlwind of hard partying, law bending, and young love as she crisscrosses the Midwest with a band of misfits starring Sasha Lane, Shia LaBeouf, Riley Keogh, and Mikhail Lombardi. Next, we have Ms. Doni, The Untold Story, Not Yet Rated Biography. The untold story of Donnie's journey from ticket collector to trophy collector, the World Cup winning captain of the Indian cricket team. Oh, that sounds like a cool movie. Next, we have Danny Says, not for 104 writ minutes, a documentary not yet rated. Danny Says is a documentary on the life and times of Danny Fields. He played a pivotal in music and culture. Nice. And then, Denial, for 110 minutes, PG-13. Claimed writer and historian De Deborah Lipstead. Proof her Holocaust actually occurred when David Irving, a renowned denier, sues her for libel. Oh my goodness. Starring Rachel Weisz, Tom 